Have you ever been nervous talking in front of people? You have an idea of what you want to say, but you don't know how to say it adequately. You open your mouth and you freeze up. It seems like the room is blanking out on you and you're looking at what seemed to be like your paper and all your points seem out of whack. Well, that was the case for me. I've actually learned how to be able to overcome that as a public speaker, someone who's traveled the world and somebody who's encountered countless amount of people and help them do the same. If it's something that you're interested, keep watching this video. Hey guys, my name is Salem Sydney and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. My desire is to help individuals such as yourself to be more motivated to discover your purpose and to understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So what I'm going to do in this particular video, I'm actually going to cut to a training that I recorded for some of my students on mastering the art of public speaking. And the particular lecture I'm going to show you is about understanding a script. So I had to learn how to utilize a script because I was so nervous and sometimes I didn't know how I was remembering the things that I had memorized before and I didn't feel like blanking out. I, needed, I was afraid of people laughing at me. So I put down the script and I think that's going to be important for you as well. That's going to help you whether you're doing a presentation in front of your partners at work, your colleagues, or you know, whether you're doing the report, whether you're doing a presentation for your classroom, or even you just want to become a better person who speaks in public, whatever the case may be, I think this can be also helpful for you as well. So right now I'm just going to cut to the lecture and I'll see you after. All right, let's go with the assumption that you said yes to the script. You do want to use a script whenever you want to be speaking, presenting, uh, you're saying, giving a toast, you're talking to partners, you presenting that science project, you're doing your dissertation, whatever the case may be, you're speaking in public and you want to use some kind of support that can help you retain what you're going to be presenting to other people. There's two types of scripts that I personally recommend for people to have. You can have what is more referred to as an outline where you put the main topics, the big points that you're going to be covering. You know, it could be, you know, three, four, five, six, however many big topics and points that you want to make sure you highlight whenever you're speaking to people, or, uh, you're presenting the information. And then there's more of a transcript. What is a transcript? A transcript is what you're going to be saying word for word. If you're going to be reading the transcript, you're probably going to be looking like you're reading something down and not necessarily having the eye contact with the audience. It doesn't mean that it is wrong. A lot of the time, often, especially people in politics, people in big, big uh, uh, scenarios have read transcript to make sure that they don't get off topic. Even people, sometimes TV anchors, they use teleprompters, which is basically a transcript. They're reading whatever they're saying, but they've mastered the eye contact. Sometimes it doesn't look like they're reading. So you have to also understand, right? Okay, so am I going to use an outline? right where i put just the main big points that i'm going to be referring to or am i going to use more of a transcript type a transcript style script wow that was kind of a tricky okay transcript style script so it depends on you the pros of an outline is that you have the big points and you're only looking at the big points you expand upon furthermore what you want to share to the crowd which helps your audience create more connection you have the fluidity the freedom to walk to express yourself the cons of using an outline is that you can often get off topic really quickly you can go on tangents or you can completely get caught up into one particular point too long before moving to the next point so time management sometimes is difficult with people who are doing an outline a transcript also has its pros. The good thing about a transcript is that it keeps you on pace, especially if you understand what we talked about, the pace of how fast you're gonna be speaking or not. If you're gonna be speaking fast or slow, having a transcript that is in accordance with how fast you're speaking is gonna help you also dictate how quickly or how short your presentation is going to be. And um, in the next lecture, I'm gonna tell you how you should you be structuring your script to be in alignment with your pace of speaking. So if you're like doing, for example, 110 to 150 words per minute, how long should your script be depending on how many allotted time you have to speak? So if they give you 20 minutes versus 40 minutes, if you're gonna use a transcript, how many words should they be? 
very important to know. Another thing that's beneficial with transcript is that it convey a message of seriousness to your audience. Often enough, when somebody is coming with a transcript and they're reading it correctly as they're speaking, they have uh, body control, they have good stage presence, it's, it shows you that this person is serious, they took time to write it out. It's probably something that is worth listening to. Here are also some of the cons of using a transcript. You often look like you're reading. So if you don't have enough time to create eye contact with the audience, look, look intently, you could just look like you're reading the whole time. And that actually creates a negative effect on the audience because you're now disconnected to the audience. Another negative thing about using a transcript is that you can often seem monotone. It's hard for you to have big gestures. It's hard for you sometimes to create a lot of intensity. It's, it's hard sometimes for you to use a lot of your body language because you have to remain in an area where you can read whatever your transcript says. So it's up to you. If you decide to go with the script, think of yourself. Am I gonna just do an outline where I have major points or maybe a small uh, underlining points? And I wanna make sure that I talk and cover before my speech is over? Or am I gonna actually use a transcript style script where I'm gonna be reading word for word so I make sure I don't go off tangent and I cover exactly what I wanna say? So it's up for you to decide which one is gonna be more beneficial for you, but I wanted to share this two different style script so you can know how it can also help you create more confidence, become a better presenter, and also completely dominate your next opportunity to speak in public. You got this. All right guys, so that was just a small portion of a much longer course. So with my students, we went over a three and a half hours of course where that put together is all online, it's all on demand, that you can access to it anytime. If you've ever wanted to learn how to overcome your fear of public speaking, understanding some, how to master the art of telling great story, how to captivate your audience, how to tell a story, whether you wanna be humorous or whether it's a very serious story, how to communicate your product effectively as a business person or as an entrepreneur, how to to learn how to deal well with your colleague at work, how to understand that your boss knows exactly what you want, whether you're working on a class project, you're doing your dissertation, or you're doing a, a one of your presentation over a group project with your friends in high school, whatever the case may be, I put this together as a complete master guide for someone who is a complete beginner or someone who wants to polish some of the skills that they already possess. Whatever the case may be, I want to be able to hold you by the hand and walk you through this process. For a limited time, I've done an incredible discount for you, my YouTube family. You know something that's crazy? For a long time, I used to just wanted to give free information. So I scoured YouTube for hours and hours and hours of information. I grabbed something here, I grabbed something there, I grabbed something here, and trying to put the pieces together. And sometimes the difficult part is you have to go through hours of information to get exactly what you wanted. There's nothing wrong with free information. The problem sometimes is getting it in a cohesive manner. What I've done with my course is I break it down into different section and lecture. For example, let's say if you want to just work on overcoming your fear, how do you beat the anxiety? There's a whole section on that. Maybe you've already done that, but you're just not good at telling great stories. So I'm gonna show you the techniques that you have to learn on becoming a great storyteller. Master the art of storytelling. So I'm gonna focus on that as well. Maybe you know how to tell great stories, but your PowerPoints are not really good. You don't do great visuals. I'm gonna show you how to do that. What can you get free uh, stock images, stock footages. I'm gonna show you guys all through that. How do you master some of the software presentation to use? What do you do? Do you speak with your hands? If you do, how do you do with your eye contact? All these different things. We cover a plethora of things. So you can choose to focus on a particular area. Or if you're coming as a novice, you can do all of it together. Listen, I know by now you're probably thinking, Salem, stop talking so I can click the link. Where's the link? The link is in your description, right? Whether you're watching this on your cell phone or on a computer or on a tablet, there should be a link in the description. Click the link, you'll be taken to the portal where you can be able to take this particular course. Well, for those of you guys who are gonna take that next step and take the course, well, I'll see you in class. And for the rest of you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Remember, you are God's very best. Take care.